everyone, thanks so much for um, joining us today. Thanks for all the wonderful presentations. Um, it it it's it's very it's it's it hits me right in the heart when you guys are mentioning us when you're talking about your guys' companies. I really appreciate that, guys. I think um, to any any uh, brands partners listening. Um, you've got the dream team presenting to you today. Like pretty much everything is covered from things that you ship to um, everything related to your brand, at which you, you're potentially not shipping, right? Uh, as, as Mehdi was mentioning on his end, um, focusing on the customer and everything has come full circle now uh, back to packaging. Um, thank you guys. Seriously, this is awesome. Um, okay, real quick, because uh, we're almost out of time. This is going to be so super quick. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, credibility side, I, I know. I know packaging. We can just skip that one. Um, cool. Uh, Stephen Miller at um, Sourceify already already mentioned this one uh, when he was talking about uh, optimizing packaging to reduce shipping costs. I think that's super important right now. Hopefully, any and all of your brands listening out there, this is when you're going to be uh, potentially pushing the most product, right? And the more product you push, hopefully, the more money you make, but also the, the greater the shipping costs in a given period of time. Um, and so if you want to save the most that you could ever save in the time that you're going to be making the most that you're ever going to make, it's now. So make sure that everything that's going out the door has been optimized from a product to parcel standpoint. If you look at this on a 3PL standpoint, for example, like a ship bob, um, the stats that we have out there is that for every $100, a ship bob makes $12 goes into parcel and shipping of parcel. Um, so that's a big chunk of what's getting sent out the door, inventory not even included. So creating savings here is going to be so critical for you as a brand that already has, uh, you know, the, the the margins that you guys need to clutch onto for dear life. And something like this can make such a huge difference as um, the Sourceify team clearly illustrated. Um, another thing that I'm sure your 3PL will be happy to stock for you during this time um, if you're working with like a ship bob, send them some extra boxes this time of year. Uh, who knows what's going to happen if they're going to, if you are going to run out of the boxes that you sent to them and they're going to have to play a uh, fire drill to be able to tell you, hey, you're out. Uh, you didn't send us enough boxes and then you need to communicate with your packaging provider, someone like us. Uh, and, and yeah, I don't I don't think we did like the quick intro on us. We, we make it as easy to design and order boxes online as you would design and order a business card. Uh, we can also run an analysis on your uh, product and packages. We can connect to your uh, WMS and 3PL, like a ship bob, uh, run, analysis, run an analysis on the SKUs that you have them responsible for shipping on your behalf and make suggestions on packaging sizes. But uh, back to this, um, creating a fire drill uh, for your 3PL is going to create negative rippling effects throughout the rest of your supply chain. And it can start with something as simple as uh, packaging stock out, like 15 to 25% of SLAs that are missed are because of a packaging stock out. Um, thankfully, companies like ShipBob do have stock packages that uh, may be unbranded that they can still put your product in and get it out the door because they know how important it is for your brand to be able to please your customers to surprise and delight them going into peak season. But um, running out on their end means they have to contact you, means you have to contact us means we're going to have to charge you an arm and leg to, to like rush order this. And actually there used to be an additional tip on this. And that additional tip was get your packaging like right now, get it yesterday, get it last month uh, because everything is getting backed up right now. So if you're on that naughty list that hasn't already bought boxes for peak season or poly bags for peak season or branded tissue paper or branded tape, whatever it might be, please do it right now. Um, as, as, as uh, other incredible panelists on this call were saying, uh, Fran, I think it was you at ShipBob that was saying, like it has a 100% open rate. Um, and then uh, folks like Dane and Steven were talking about like the, the added value cost of what branded packaging can provide. Please don't see it as this like ancillary cost. You need to see this as marketing spend. Like it is your billboard and it is gonna get in your, in your, uh, in your customer's hand and they're gonna share that with other potential customers. Um, which is going to be a positive feedback loop for you. And as uh, Mandy was saying with Social Snowball, this is like your customers are your biggest advocates. They're going to go out there um, and they're going to put the word out, whether you did a good job or bad. So make sure uh, you have this part tightened up and any of the partners on this call can really um, uh, lend their expertise to not only their specific 
um, service offering because that, as you saw, we've all really touched different aspects of um, the, our respective businesses. So um, I'm sure we will we'll be able to point you in the right direction, even if it's not our uh, core expertise. So this kind of just touches on what I was saying, um, post-holiday offers through packaging design, QR codes, which Mehdi was saying they were able to create different codes for you, right? Uh, leveraging branded packaging and accessories, uh, tape tissue stickers, focus on profitability through repeat business and lifetime value, not just on first order margins, guys. Like you might see it as expensive when, um, you know, your, your average order value of the customer may not be exceeded by the custom branded packaging of that first time order, but aren't we in this for the long run? Like the first, the, the first and most important thing about growth is retention, right? So this is when, this is when we make friends. This is when we, this is when we make friends and get married with our customers, right? Like it, it's now, um, of course, those opportunities come throughout the remainder of the year and the years to follow, but this is such a crucial time, which is why uh, this fun, fun twister of an alliteration for protect your profits, this profits, this peak season is so important. Um, and so for that, we would like to uh, give you two, $200 off your order of a thousand bucks or more. Again, that's uh, profit 200 when checking out. Uh, also be sure to click that eco cart uh, box when you're checking out on Arca as well uh, so that we can provide some carbon capture um, uh, goodies for you at the end to make sure that you're also doing your part from a sustainability standpoint, which we've been super proud to partner up with the folks at EcoCart to be able to um, leverage that capability for all purchases through Arca. But again, profit 200, you'll get 200 bucks off of an order of a thousand bucks or more. This expires Friday. This expires Friday. And this is really just like a forcing function for you to get your packaging ordered now even if you think you don't need it now, if you don't think you need those extras, just order it now, okay? You can use it and recycle it um, in next year's orders that come through as, a, as, a, uh, as an extra branded bonus, as we mentioned in one of the other slides, where you can leverage that as a fun way to be able to get your customer's attention, even if you don't end up using it now. You'll use it later. You'll use it eventually, unless you're literally sunsetting a product. But as mentioned in previous slides, products that might've been sunsetted previously are a great add-on as like a sampler for um, customers to be introduced into the service offerings that you have in the future. Um, so please reach out, support at arca.com. And uh, I'm sure we'll be sending out um, the respective contact info of everyone um, after this as well, so that you can get in touch with us. I um, am so proud of this team for everyone getting this together and presenting. This was Kyla's first presentation of, of a webinar so good job, Kyla, for putting this together as well and getting everybody introduced. Um, great job. You got some great people for, for a first time uh, presentation. I'll stop sharing.